there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time. I'm running a little behind, a little behind, but hey, not a problem. I'm still alive. I'm still here. So anyways, it's time to get this thing going live. Of course, if you're new to the rookie room, welcome in. Glad to have you here. This is the one spot where people looking to change careers or those that are already in a driving career can ask questions and get answers right here. So I do have a topic that I wanted to jump on, and that was uh, uh, expectations, and that was going to be rookie expectations, because it's one of the mistakes a lot of new people make getting into a trucking career, whether they're heading off to CDL school or off to their starter company. We're going to cover a little bit about expectations and why new drivers have problems, rookies have problems getting their brain wrapped around expectations. Mark, what do you mean, expectations? Well, one of the things that happens when people change careers into trucking is they know they're going off to CDL school. And they think CDL school is going to be like the other schooling they've had in their past, where it's learn at your own pace. And, you know, there's gonna, they know there's going to be homework and they probably think it's not going to be a lot when, in fact, it's going to be a lot. And that overwhelms them and they fall behind in the schooling and then all of a sudden uh, the CDL, you know, the CDL school is sending them home. Because they fail to look at a CDL school, whether it be a carrier based CDL school or a third party school. You know, like one of those three week, two week, three week, four week, uh, like a uh, Roadmaster or Bob's Trucking School or uh, the Shenandoah CDL Class A school. Those are third-party schools. Now, community colleges, if you go get your CDL through a community college, that's a little different. They're, they're able to spread things out. Matter of fact, most community colleges want to spread the training out over a number of weeks, 8, 10, 13 weeks. So if you think, or if you, if you fail at a, a third-party CDL school and they send you home, don't worry, just go to your local community college, the learning style over there is a little different. But most, the majority of those changing careers go through a third party CDL school or they go to a starter company that offers CDL training like Stevens Transport, Prime, Night Transportation, Swift, Werner, you know, the starter companies who have CDL school built into their employment program. These are the schools that are normally three weeks, two to three weeks in length. And again, as a, even as a starter company, CDL school, their goal is just to just to get you past the test, the state exam to get your hard laminate CDL. OK, third party CDL schools and starter company CDL schools are pressure cookers. It's go, 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 go. It's long days. It's a mixture of classroom and range training out, getting out on the truck and driving the truck, learning how to shift it. You normally have a practice pad area, a secure area where <clears throat> you can maneuver around. But most that show up have it in their head somehow that they don't need to study anything before they go to CDL school. And they couldn't be more wrong. They show up with nothing more than a pair of work boots, uh, a ballpoint pen, and a notepad. They think they're prepared going to CDL school by bringing pen, pencil, a notepad, uh, a pair of work boots, and some work gloves. They think they're ready. They're not. So if you're talking to friends, if you're talking to family, if I'm, or I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you, and you're about to go off to CDL school, you've got to start your homework beforehand. Because when you show up, it's going to be uh, wake up early, go to bed late for three or four weeks, at minimum of three weeks. So any head start you can get on CDL school, such as going down to your local Department of Motor Vehicle or Department of Public Safety, whatever's in your state, and getting the CDLA, the Class A CDL handbook and start studying up on air brakes and combination vehicles and tanker and hazmat and all the different sections in that handbook. You may, granted, it might be Greek to you, but start studying early before you get to CDL school. Because when you get there, they're not going to slow down. 
a lot of new new those changing careers a lot of rookies forget they forget that fact that that cdl school is there to make money there to get you in and get you out as fast as possible because they've got another class starting next week they've got a whole nother batch of students coming in they don't have time to slow down their training program for you to catch up you have to keep up with them and that's what throws a lot of rookies for a loop they're like hey wait a minute what do you mean i got to do homework what do you mean i got to go do some self-study i got to study on my own i got homework what do you mean and it freaks them out and they fall behind and before they know it, they're so far behind they're pulled in the administration office and they're handed a letter saying no you're you're done you know we try your community college this this isn't for you and it happens you get sent home cdl schools and starter companies will send you home if you're not learning fast enough so get a head start on it get a jump on that learning by going to your local dmv three four weeks beforehand pick up the cdl handbook and start reading start studying now because i guarantee you half your class is already doing that before they started cdl they started studying so help yourself to help get your cdl school or to help get your cdl through your cdl school by studying before you get to school if that makes sense okay that's one expectation where a lot of new people fail fail to understand the CDL schools they're in business to make money they're turning people over they want to turn get them in get them out get them in get them out that's their job you got to keep up with them they're not there to keep up with you sorry just the way it works again I do uh, appreciate you all for for hanging out here in the rookie room please tell your friends about this you know tell you got somebody looking to get into a trucking career or if you got questions, let them know about The Rookie Room. It's real simple to find us here, therookieroom.com. It's that simple, www.therookieroom.com. Every Sunday, 6 o'clock-ish, 6 o'clock-ish, because I, I'm on a working truck. I got to pay the bill, so I try to get going a few minutes before 6. Today, I missed that. I'm sorry about that. But thanks, everybody, for showing up. Glad to have you here. We'll see you all next Sunday, 6 o'clock Central Time, right here on The Rookie Room. Yeah!